This is The Sim Pit. I'm your host, Sean Cole, and welcome to The Pit Stop, where you are the real star today's show, because without you, there'd be no fun in talking about today's news. We have a little bit of news, but we have a lot of things to talk about today, so I think it's going to be a pretty good show, and thank you for being here. Happy Monday to everybody. Love starting the weeks off, each week off with a brand new uh, pit stop just to get in the momentum. I like that word for what we're doing here with uh, my sim racing uh, efforts of the week. I kind of took yesterday off and tried to take things a little easy coming off the 2.4 hour race. We'll talk more about that later on the show. So let's go ahead and get into today's news. But as as usual, just like always, if there's anything you guys want to talk about, anything going on in sim racing or, or, or gaming or, or tech in general that you think is applicable to the show, just go ahead and mention it in the chat and we'll take a diversion and talk about those topics as well. Because again, that is what makes the pit stop so cool. It's not just finding the news, but it's being able to talk about all the news as well. So another thing came to us today from the guys. Whoa, hey, there I am. Another uh, story or another, I don't know what to call it, teaser, that's what this is, from T.T. Isle, the man, the game, came out today, and actually this came out uh, on the 13th, so on f uh, Saturday, I believe the 13th was, and they're doing another one of these little tours of, oh, come on, Sean, of one of the new bikes, so here is the BMW S1000RR of Martin Jessup, probably massacred that name. But uh, as I've mentioned, I'm, I'm excited about this. It's been a long time since I've driven a really good motorcycle sim or game. And I think by the nature of it being made for motorcycles, as much as they want to be sim, it's probably going to lean a little arcadish, And it probably has to, just for the physics and handling of motorcycles, which is a really hard thing to simulate like we do automobiles. Uh, but another gorgeous bike, and again, again, a game that's due out in March that I am eagerly anticipating. I'm, I'm really excited about this game coming. It, it, it'll be a very good distraction uh, game or sim at the very least. Uh, <laughs> um, Steven, are those topics for today? Video card prices are BS and Bitcoin mining can already die. <laughs> those are great tech topics. Thank you very much for that. Any thoughts on those things, you guys? So, uh, beyond that, let's see. What else do we have going on? Uh, Dakar. Saw this came out this weekend. Uh, not the game, but some announcements about Dakar Rally, official game. And multiple disciplines. We've seen trucks. We've seen motorcycles. Look at this. The full, giant, like, trucks trucks are here coming to the Dakar Rally. If you've ever followed Rally uh, Dakar in particular... It is a very unique race, and they've thrown the word sim out. And so you know me and my way of approaching different topics when it comes... Here's their, their teaser, um, and it's coming to the PS4, Xbox One, and PC. But they've been throwing the word sim out there. When I'm judging software, when I'm evaluating or reviewing software, part of my decision-making process is their actual marketing. And if they use words like simulation and throw that around, then that's how I will review them. If they never mention sim and they talk about fun and they talk about entertainment and they talk about driving atmosphere, then I consider it to be more of a game and I judge it on that that crisis or, or, or method. In the case here, a little too soon to tell. I don't know what they're really calling themselves just yet, but I have heard them throw the word sim around. And... We'll see. We'll see about that. But uh, interesting, they'll go after Dakar. Dakar is open world when you think about that race compared to conventional racing. Dakar is not a circuit. There are a lot of different routes to the Dakar, and that could be very fun for us as sim racers, game or sim, because you're talking about a different atmosphere entirely, being able to kind of just go your own route and maybe get good at running the course and knowing, oh, if I go left versus right, I get through this section with hills instead of bumps. You know, I don't know. I'm just saying. I'm just speculating as to how it could play out to be cool. An open world race, which I'm not sure we've ever had that. We've had open world driving environments, but when it came to the racing in those open world driving environments, it was usually somewhat closed. So, uh, what else is going on in our world today? This is cool. Uh, VLN, the Race Room Endurance Series, is coming. And this was announced. And that if you... I, and uh, 
I'm going to mention it right now. So I promised you guys, over the weekend, I got the simpit.com completely up to date, which means that every video produ produced has been put there. As of today, I will have the links with the video at the simpit.com as soon as the video finishes. So as soon as I hit the end of the stream, I'll turn it on at the simpit. You can go to the link uh, for this show, and I mean, you can go to the, click on the image for this show, and you'll find all the links to all the stories that I show you during the show. So that's going to be one nice change from today moving forward with the pit stop and the simpit.com. And you should see that state that site staying much more current and getting some of the additions that I've wanted to do to it for quite some time. Thank you, Mes Messer Lip Tip Jay. <laughs> Your name. I just got to call you Jay. Um, that's much easier. So anyway, this is running Race Room, and it will be a cool series. They have their, their trailer going, and if you want to check that out, you can go to RR, as in Race Room, VLN. And this could be a very cool competition and it's starting up right now so it's not too late to get involved and get in on that uh next up little congratulations in order christopher bell winning the chili bowl congratulations to i racing for putting their name on the right car apparently because their paint scheme and christopher bell and the guys at i racing are there on victory lane after a really great chili bowl event so Congratulations to those guys, and that, you know, I guess congratulations to all of us, to be honest with you. That means that iRacing got airtime, it got acknowledged, it's getting photographs, and there are people today, there are people today on Monday morning who are Googling iRacing going, what is that? I saw it on that car, and I have no idea what it is. So they go research, and they're like, oh, what is this sim racing? And then they find the sim pit, and they're like, oh, you can buy a wheel. And that could be the guy you're racing against in, a, in just a matter of days, weeks, or months. So that's one thing. When I'm talking about sponsorship and getting ourselves in the limelight, getting ourselves seen by the whole world so that they can know what we do. Why did I start doing entertainment shows for sim racing way back when? And the reason is because we really wanted to grow the market. We wanted more people to know about sim racing. And I'm fascinated when I meet people who race or know of racing, and they have no clue that they can do it 24-7 at home. And it's not a matter of whether it's different or real or places real racing. You can do this 24-7, 365, and you can't do that in real life racing. You just can't. So um, I'm... You know, congratulations to them getting the good word out to the whole world, and congratulations on the win. Well done. Big event, too. And it's all coming to iRacing, so that'll be cool for the future for all of us. Um, that's it on the typical news. One more story I want to talk about. Um, and uh, if you haven't heard already, but American racing legend Dan Gurney died. And it's a real shame. This is one of the biggest names in racing. He was a huge innovator. Uh, the Gurney flap is one of the biggest assets to aerodynamics and racing ever invent invented. And this guy drove through really, really great eras of all sorts of different racing. Like, every type of racing you can do. And, uh, I've met him, I've met his son, and it's a real shame. So, uh, you know, my, my, my thoughts go out to the Gurney family. I'm sure it's a very tough day for all of them. And, you know, all I'm going to say is that, uh, you know, much respect for a guy like Dan Gurney, who was back from the days of being a racer and an engineer. Like, he drove the car and came into the pits and said, you know, this isn't right. And if it wasn't a setup change that he could make to the car, then he was going to change the car to allow that setup change to happen. This guy was a true innovator. And the cars and the tech... And what we do today can be a lot attributed to him and the guys of his era. Uh, and and my driving coach. Um, so, rest in peace, Sim Pit. <laughs> Where did I see that? <laughs> RRP. Oh, man. Rough day. Anyway, the 2.4 hour race was really very fun. Looks like my internet dropped. I wonder if I lost you guys. I think I completely lost you guys for a moment there. 
stream has resumed, and I believe we're back online again. That was interesting. I was trying to do a search for the game, and my internet wasn't working, and I was wondering why. Well, I didn't realize that at the same time, I was literally using you guys. Losing you guys. But I believe we are back on the air. Um, that's unfortunate. It makes for a very awkward stream. So I'm not finding the Dakar Rally manufacturer. So we're going to have to do some digging, do some research, and try to find out. Deep Silver? Is that the name of the company? Yep, that's it. Deep Silver seems to be the name of the company behind the Dakar Rally. So there you go. Hey! <laughs> oh, Max. Max, Max, Max. All right, back to topic. Sorry about the distraction. Sorry about the uh, interruption there. Max, stop. Thank you, Greg. Gardeners are here, and that's when my dog loses his mind. Next up, so 2.4. I got an invite from our buddy, Mitchie Hoyer, asking me if I would like to join Avid Chronic Racing for the 24-hour race. So a lot of people have already been asking me. Wow, they're like right outside my window. That doesn't help at all. <laughs> um. Anyway, so they asked me if I'd be willing to race with them in the 24-hour event. And a lot of you guys have been asking me if I'm going to run in the 24-hour event. And my answer was absolutely. So there's actually an announcement on the Avid Chronic Facebook page. You can see our car. By the way, look at this car. That is our car that we're running. The Corvette prototype. Um great looking car and I will be running with those guys. Mitchie is not going to be in the race. He's actually going to be out of town so that's too bad but that is something that is going to be going on and we will be I'm thinking of doing something really different for that one because at moments I'll be a viewer at moments I'll be a racer at moments I'll be a spotter and at moments I'll just be sleeping or doing other stuff I'm thinking of putting a camera up there and just running it for 24 hours just the sim pit live for 24 hours straight i'll be here for 12 of the 24 hours i don't know but you'll see what's going on i'll just leave it all running non-stop that's one idea i'm thinking of doing and you know that means that if i'm sleeping you'll be hearing me snoring uh so anyway that could be an interesting thing i'm still up and down as to whether I'm going to do that or not in terms of the 24-hour stream, I'll definitely be streaming my side of things. And even on the 24, do I leave it that way or do I switch to regular streaming? If you have any opinion on those thoughts, you go ahead and let me know. But that's one more thing that's coming up, and I'm looking very much forward to it. It really does take us to the end of the show. If you noticed, on the show, I actually have a bar there, an achievement bar. And I'm trying to hit 50,000 subscribers. And right now that's a tall order because we're at 31,000. And my birthday is May 21st. So I've set a target of May 21st, which is just, you know, four months and a week from now. That's not a lot of time to grow the channel by 18,000 people. But you want to give me a great birthday gift? You want to, you know, make sure I'm a happy guy and the Sim Pit goes on strong and continues to provide great shows, hopefully with fewer interruptions than today's show, then you be sure to tell a friend, like this video, share the video, help us grow that. I don't know if we're going to make that goal, and it's okay if we don't, but I would really like to see how close we could get. We get to that kind of, those kind of numbers, and we are going to be able to go to a whole other level with the Sim Pit. I, I guarantee you that. That's my intentions. That's what I'm doing. The more we push, the more we get back, the more we can put into it and make it bigger, bigger and better. And you're just along for the ride. And in my opinion, we're just at the very beginning. So I hope you enjoyed the show. Good Monday to all.